The Montreal Massacre by Louise Mallet is a poignant and emotionally charged narrative that delves into the tragic events of December 6, 1989, at a call Polytechnique in Montreal, Canada. Mallet's literary exploration of this devastating incident serves as a powerful testament to the enduring impact of violence on individuals and society. Mallet employs a somber and reflective tone throughout the narrative, setting the stage for a deep exploration of the profound implications of the Montreal Massacre. The language is both evocative and restrained, allowing readers to engage with the emotional weight of the events without becoming overwhelmed by sensationalism. This approach reflects Mallet's commitment to presenting a nuanced and empathetic portrayal of the victims and their families. One of the narrative's notable strengths lies in its characterizations. Through Mallet's vivid descriptions, the victims emerge as more than just names and statistics, they become individuals with dreams, aspirations, and futures brutally cut short. This personalized approach fosters a connection between the reader and the victims, emphasizing the human cost of such a senseless act of violence. Mallet takes care to highlight the diverse backgrounds of the victims, reinforcing the universal impact of the tragedy and challenging any preconceived notions about who can be affected by such atrocities. The narrative also delves into the aftermath of the Montreal Massacre, examining the profound and lasting effects on the survivors and their families. Mallet skillfully captures the complex emotions of grief, survivors' guilt, and the struggle to make sense of a tragedy that defies comprehension. The author refrains from offering facile explanations or easy answers, acknowledging the enduring scars left by such an event. Through her exploration of the societal response to the Montreal Massacre, Mallet sheds light on the broader issues of gender-based violence and misogyny. The massacre, perpetrated by a man who explicitly targeted women, serves as a stark reminder of the pervasive nature of gender-based violence. Mallet raises critical questions about the root causes of such violence and the need for society to confront and address these issues. Her narrative challenges readers to reflect on the systemic factors that contribute to violence against women and the responsibility of individuals and institutions to effect meaningful change. The narrative also touches on the role of media in shaping public perception and discourse surrounding tragic events. Mallet critiques the tendency to sensationalize violence and the impact this can have on the victims and their families. She calls for a more compassionate and responsible approach to storytelling, one that prioritizes the dignity and humanity of those affected by tragedy over sensational narratives that prioritize shock value. In addition to its exploration of the emotional and societal aftermath, the Montreal Massacre delves into the broader cultural implications of such acts of violence. Mallet interrogates the prevailing narratives that seek to distance society from the perpetrators, emphasizing the need to acknowledge and confront the uncomfortable reality that violence is not always perpetrated by others, but can emerge from within our communities. In conclusion, Louise Mallet's The Montreal Massacre is a masterful literary exploration of a tragic event that shook the foundations of Canadian society. Through careful and empathetic storytelling, Mallet invites readers to engage with the emotional and societal aftermath of the Montreal Massacre, challenging them to confront the uncomfortable truths about gender-based violence and the collective responsibility to create a more just and compassionate society. The narrative's lasting impact lies in its ability to humanize the victims, fostering empathy and understanding in the face of profound tragedy.